Hello, my lovely, beautiful friends. It's Kristen, and I am super excited because we have our Pandora's box of indie obsessions. I am also terribly, terribly sad because this is the last Pandora's box of indie obsessions. Um, if you watched my last unboxing of this, you'll remember I said, you know, I know what the next theme is, but I forgot. And so I went back and looked and uh, I was like, oh, it's E.T., that's cool. But I didn't read the whole description below that. And I realized maybe like a week ago or so that I hadn't been charged for the upcoming month. So I was like, hmm, what's going on? A little confused. So I went back and looked at the whole post from when she um, showed that E.T. was going to be this month and realize that this was the last box. So I'm so sorry that um, to one to Amy, um, who puts this box together that I didn't realize before and comment before, and to you guys, because now you guys don't have a chance to get this. So Amy, who runs the box, um, she also has her own indie brand, which is Syringa's Enchantments. She has been battling some health problems. She has some tumors like on her spine, between her spine and her brain. Um, she's had them for a while, but one is growing. So they are going to do treatment, which is chemotherapy. And if any of you guys know that treating with chemotherapy, it's very, it can be very, very effective because it is a very strong drug, but in the same relation with strong drugs that work really well they also have a strong side effects so she is taking some time to concentrate on her health and hopefully get better it sounds like the plan is at least for at least a couple years to do this treatment so it's not like she's just gonna go in for a couple treatments so all the best to her um if you guys usually when i tag amy because i usually make a picture put it on instagram and i'll take um Pandora's box and Syringa's enchantments. Usually she watches my video. So if either, either you guys uh, comment there, comment on this video, or I will still link her store, Syringa's enchantments. As far as I know, she's still continuing that. She hasn't said really either way. Uh, I would assume that if she was going to, she would have said something, but you know, when you're facing some crisis, sometimes you don't remember all those things. So I will link her storefront. I found we've gotten stuff from that brand in these boxes and they've been really good and really reasonably priced. So that's a way to support her too. But just to say, you know, good luck, Amy. Um, you got this. So anyway, um, I won't go into all the details of like pricing and stuff, but basically what Amy does is she gets several indie brands together and makes a theme and each brand kind of contributes something based on that theme and we get our bag of goodies opening this up so it does come in an outside mailer that i've thrown away it smells amazing so i'm super excited got my scissors all right i'm just gonna pull something out First off, from BFTE Cosmetics, it looks like a loose shadow. I don't think we've ever gotten anything from them, so that's really exciting to get um, a brand we haven't got before. And it looks like a very pretty blue. It's called Blue Bird. I haven't watched... Uh... Oh, this is from Dot Dot Cosmetics. Oh, okay. Dot Dot Cosmetics has also been featured in this brand many times. They unfortunately have gone out of business as well. So that's a bummer, but a pretty blue shimmer. Um, and so it's got that little tag to keep everything in there. It's kind of like a bluey purple. If you look at it from certain angles. So I have a few things from the boxes that I've gotten over the past months that I have put into a little giveaway pile, so I will put that into there. And we'll probably have a giveaway of this go round. So that'll be part of it. We'll go over that at the end. Um, 
next up from, and I never say her name right, Bathory's Boutique. So Bathory, she was like an old countess, I believe, for many years ago. Very, there's a lot of dark tales about her. But it looks like we got a Horror Land Exfoliating Foot Scrub Fun House at a Fun House Mini Mirror. So this is in cinnamon. And well, it says cotton candy, autumn leaves, so. And cinnamon and fear, so. <laughs> There's that. Oh, so this is from the Goosebumps. So the Goosebumps was last month, so maybe this just uh, didn't make it in time. And that's why there's two. I'm not sure. But a little Goosebumps mirror. Just a little two teeth mirror. And then we got our little foot scrub. It is kind of uh, oily in there, so I don't want to like get all, get all oily. I'm definitely getting cinnamon. I don't, I'm not sure about the fear. It does smell really nice. They did, so it's in that little container, like a little to-go container, but it's also wrapped in plastic. So they did their best, but it does seem like there's still a little bit of oil that leaked out. All right, what about next? Ooh, some kind of spray. So this is extraterrestrial hand sanitizer from Forever Shine Collection. It is another brand we get pretty often in there. I don't, all I smell is that foot scrub, so I don't know if, uh, if there is a scent or if I, it's just being masked, but hand sanitizer. All right, and then from Hollow Cosmetics, and we got a shadow, pressed shadow. Oh, it didn't, doesn't have a shade name. Usually they put a sticker on the back with a shade name. So we got this. I'm not going to swatch it. I think I'm going to put this in my little giveaway pile as well. I have quite a few shadows from Hello Cosmetics. It has a very nice satin fi finish, which isn't necessarily my favorite for eyeshadows, but I found it works really well for highlighter. But if you like a satin eyeshadow, it's a very nice formula. And next up from Mystic House Beauty, we have a peanut butter scented body wash. Oh my goodness. Okay. Peanut butter scented. I don't know about that. I love peanut butter and I like the scent of peanut butter, but I don't know if I want it in a body wash. But that is fun. Did I say Mystic Beauty House? It does smell like peanut butter, but it's not overly. Huh. So that's cool. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know if I'll necessarily love smelling like peanut butter. My dogs will be even more obsessed with me, but that is cool. And next up we have a little Augustus Rose, I believe. This is a little perfume. I think I have one here too. Such a hard time getting these tops off. It smells like fall. I don't know. I might still be smelling that foot scrub on my fingers. This it smells very fall, like cinnamony. If that makes sense. I'm not good at descriptions, but it's just this little thing right there, little uh, container. I'm so good at this. Yeah, this little thingamajig, what you call it. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, got an empty bag. Empty bag. Uh, there's probably a pair of earrings in here that fell out, so we'll find them, I'm sure. Then we got a candle. I love getting candles from this company. Apparently, they only do like wholesale, so you can't just buy them. Um, but it's the Free Bird Candle Supply, and it's in the scent Agave. Even for these little candles, they do put off a pretty good scent. Uh, in a pretty, in a decent, like a decent sized room. 
smells like fruity agave. So I'm super excited for that. Excuse me. Okay, I think, I think I feel the earrings and something else. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe this is what came in the little pouch. We got a little ET keychain. How cute is that? I love that. So I'm guessing that's what came in the pouch. And then our last is from Tater Rounds of Beauty. Let's go home. Is this? I think this is like a lip balm. I'm gonna guess. That's what it looks like. Oh, it smells really nice. Hmm. I wonder if it's like a solid perfume. Well, let's put our fingers in it and find out. Just gonna put it on my mouth. I'm sure I won't die. It feels nice. And even though it smells really good in the tube, it doesn't really like, I put it on my wrist because I was like, maybe it's one of those solid perfumes. Which, like, it's not sticky. So, I guess, like, you can use it that way, too. I don't know. Um, Amy used to send me a email explaining what everything was um, when she found out from the brands. But I didn't bother her with that because I didn't want to bother her. Because she's got enough on her mind without me. So, all right, guys. That is our last no, Pandora's Box of Indie Obsessions. I did check out um, Serena's Enchantment's Amy's site. She does have some what she calls remix boxes, which are basically like mystery boxes of past items from these boxes. So it looks like those are still for sale if you're interested in supporting her and maybe getting a, a variation. Um, so let's go ahead and do our little giveaway of some of the stuff we received and um, before. So I'm going to include a pair of earrings. So this says, here lies father. Sometimes I get like a tremor in my fingers. I like these couple fingers. I think it's just stress related, but anyway. Um, here lies father. Anthony Burke. And I think this was from the Pope's Exorcist, if, if I'm correct. Or maybe, did we do just an ex? No, I don't think we had just a straight up Exorcist. So that is that. Uh, we have the loose shadow from Dot Dot Cosmetics. We have two pressed shadows from Halo Cosmetics. So right there. We have the Goosebumps, the little mirror. We have a scrunchie, and this is from Annabelle. So if you stretch it out, you can tell it has Annabelle's face on there. Pretty. Um, oh, this loose shadow from Dot Dot Cosmetics as well. This little uh, perfume from Augusta Rose. And I think that is it. So very little, um, little giveaway, but I, I'm sure I'll find some other little things to throw in there. So the usual rules, you must be 18 years old, 18 years or older, you must live in the United States or have a United States mailing address. Um, you must be subscribed. You must like this video, comment below using the special secret word. Let's do... Let's just use the phrase Pandora's box. Um, I will end this giveaway a week after it airs. I will have that date down below because I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to put this video up. And what else? I think I think that's it. But the rules will be listed below, so check them out. Um, and please, you know, even if you don't write anything anywhere, just if you guys can have good thoughts towards Amy, prayers if you pray. 
um, what, you know, whatever you do, send good juju, whatever you do to send good vibes to people. Um, I would greatly appreciate that for her. So, all right guys. So that, that's the last one. So I hope you enjoyed and I'm just bummed because there's, I don't think another subscription like this out there. So, but I understand we got to take care of ourselves, you know, so good luck, Amy. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you soon.